Howdy Cowboys! Welcome to the 511th episode of CTV. This week we'll be taking a look at a performer going to new heights, how to frame photos and videos, and an exciting first place film. I'm Melissa. And I'm Emily. And, and CTV starts now! There's so much local talent here in Cooper City. I know, right? Let's take a look at one individual with a true passion. Music has been a huge part of my life. It's actually my whole life. Um, when I was little, I would always like sing to myself. I, and when I was about six or seven, um, I was singing at this Walmart, just like singing to myself, and this woman came up to me and she says, do you take voice lessons? And I said, no. She's, and then she recommended going to Broadway Kids Studio. I got into making music, I think, eighth grade, and the cons and then it got to the point where I started writing a new, my new musicals, it's called My Elijah, and the summer before junior year, I wrote the first song to the show, and I ended up getting to perform it in front of people. Uh, kind of shaped what I wanted to do for a living, which is like be a Broadway composer, but also a Broadway performer. And so after, after that night, um, my parents actually sent a video to my sister, who's in college right now. And she then texted me saying, hey, um, do you, how many songs for, from the show do you have finished? And I said, I, one or two and she asked me can you write like two or three more more and i can use it for my senior thesis and i said of course i didn't have music at all like i probably wouldn't be the person i am today it's definitely helped made, made me feel like i um i'm a smart person because i always thought that like you were only intelligent if you like were good at math we're good at reading we're good at, or like science and music has helped me made me realize that I am gifted and I am actually a smart person. Because honestly, I think without music, like, the world wouldn't be what it is today. I pray. So what did you do last Friday? You know, the usual, just chilling. Well, I know someone who got to experience something unlike every other typical Friday. Let's toss it over to Isabella with the story. What's your typical Friday night? For performers at Lips Drag Dining, dancing, lip singing, and comedy are all part of their typical Friday night. Performing has always been my passion since I was a kid, so I enjoy performing. Putting on the hair and the makeup and everything gives me the glow and get out there and smile and enjoy the people. Underneath all the hair and makeup lies a true passion for the art of performance, as well as revealing a path towards acceptance. We get judged, but it, it's, it's how you respect yourself. Life is too short, so you should enjoy every minute of your life and not be afraid to be who you want to be and, and do what you want to do. I'm a trans, trans woman and I'm an entertainer, so what motivates me is just being able to see people that you didn't think would accept you come in and they leave with a smile. I am a serious motivating type of person. I work with a youth group down at this place called Compass, it's the LGB kids. A lot of the kids don't have support. We just try to give them something to look forward to in life. Showing these kids that they don't have to be unhappy because somebody don't accept them for who they are. It's, it's keeping people, kids from committing suicide, basically. With late nights and bright lights, these powerful performers push through it all, keeping not only themselves, but others seriously motivated. For CTV News, this has been Isabella Marcone. We'll be right back after these short messages. Today in South Florida, it will be a mild 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The Arctic blast in New York will continue to drop 10 degrees Fahrenheit. 
yes, this is your future weather report because not only is climate change a real thing, but it's a thing we're already experiencing. Politicians debate over whether climate change is actually happening. Some claim the, well, the weather's all good out here, so is anything really changing? It is. The problem we now face is that human activities, burning fossil fuels, clearing out land and agriculture, are increasing the density of greenhouse gases. This is called the greenhouse effect, which is contributing to the warming of the Earth. As temperatures rise, Arctic ice caps melt. As ice caps melt, sea levels rise and Italy floods, but as one rises, one must fall. Some of the most destructive and fastest spreading fires have been seen in the Amazon and Southern California. The Caribbean islands have seen natural disasters, bringing unnatural destruction in the form of earthquakes and hurricanes. Whether you believe in climate change or not, the fact is something is going terribly wrong and the information is right here in front of us to see. Sea levels are rising, hurricanes are stronger, wildfires are spreading. It is all unfolding right in front of our eyes. This issue is no longer a matter of Democrat or Republican. The issue is a matter of life or death. Take a second to look around. What do you see? Water bottles, coffee cups, straws? Every day we use and dispose of plastic items without giving it a second thought. Do you ever take that extra second to choose to recycle your plastic waste instead of throwing it subconsciously into the trash or the street? Statistics show that 79% of our plastic waste ends up in a landfill with another 10% ending up in our oceans. Only an average of 9% of plastic is properly recycled. If we continue on this path without taking our planet into consideration, garbage will pile up, landfills will increase, greenhouse gas will increase, fossil fuels disappear sooner, and natural resources diminish. At this rate, we're slowly killing the wildlife in our ecosystem. And why? Because we can't take the time to properly get rid of plastic? So tell me, is saving five seconds of your time worth destroying our planet? If you haven't noticed it by now, in each of these clips, there was a moment where somebody could have stepped in. If you see something, say something. All my pictures are coming out weird. I know someone who can help you with that. Here's Ryan with a video tip on composition techniques. Hi, I'm Ryan Lewis, and today we'll be teaching you some important composition techniques. The first composition technique we'll be teaching you is the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a rule of thumb you should always try to follow. When setting up your shot, make sure to put your subject on one of the intersections, as those are the most visually appealing places. In this instance, the interviewee should be set up in the top left or top right intersection, with their eyes being in the top horizontal line. Next, we'll be talking about rack focus. A rack focus is the shift of focus from one subject to another, typically used to direct the audience's attention. In this case, we are directing the focus away from the interviewer in the foreground to the interviewee in the background. And lastly, we have leading lines. By using the natural lines of what is being filmed, leading lines is a simple but effective way of grabbing the audience's attention. In this example, you can follow the lines of the sidewalk all the way to the subject. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. Hey, did you hear the news about the cheating scandal that recently came out in the MLB? Yes, but let's see what Adam thinks about this topic. There has always been cheating in sports, and baseball is no exception. This week, there were reports that the Houston Astros cheated in the 2017 postseason and World Series. Reports say that cameras were set up at center field to see the catcher signals to see what type of ball would be thrown by the pitchers. Former Astros pitcher Mike Fiers told The Athletic that the Astros were alerting batters when pitchers were throwing off-speed pitches. For example, banging on trash cans a specific number of times to alert the player at bat. However, another former player, Carlos Beltran, and a current Mets manager, denied the allegations 
and said that they followed the rules. One Astros executive asked scouts to spy on other teams in emails. These teams were not happy and are now calling for the Astros to be fined a record amount of money, forfeit draft picks and international signing bonuses, and even give up the World Series title. A similar situation took place during the 2007 NFL season when the New England Patriots were caught videotaping the New York Jets defensive coach's signals from an unauthorized location. And now because of that, the NFL implemented a rule that only allows their cameras to be set up in the stadium. But the MLB allows teams to set up their own cameras. That should be changed for the MLB too. The league is now making a push towards strengthening rules to make sure teams weren't cheating with tech or in any other way. However, they are still looking into the scandal. For CTV Sports, I'm Adam Maven. You know how a picture can tell a thousand words? Yeah, why? Well, let's take a look at how a story can be told through a video with no words or sound at all. Music videos are a good way to tell a creative story. Let's take a look at a music video made by some of our own CTVers.
Have you ever tried to shoot your shot? Yeah, but on my way over, I tripped and embarrassed myself. You think that was bad? Take a look at this film where anything that could possibly go wrong does. We're low on memory. Do you have a secret I can borrow? Yeah, I got one. Nicole, hurry up. This is literally due at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I I can't use this, Nicole. There's no lock on it. Well, then go get a new one. Imani, can we talk? Yeah, what's up? There's no audio. What? No Nicole, you literally only had one job. You think that's bad? I have to go. You think that's bad? They messed up my order. I asked for pepperoni. Get out, get out, get out! I have an update. That's fine, um, I just used my computer. Okay. How have we been editing all night? I don't know, but we gotta go now. Okay, what's going on, Nicole? We literally have 30 minutes till deadline. You think that's bad? Premiere just crashed. <gasps> Thanks for tuning in this week. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and like us on Facebook. Have a great week, Cowboys.